Did you know there is a car in space right now? And the question you're probably thinking is, why? Well, the short answer to the question is because Elon Musk wanted it there. Elon Musk is co-founder and CEO of Tesla, which is probably the most well-known electric car company on the planet. And he is also the founder and CEO of SpaceX, the company behind the rocket Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy is a partially reusable super heavy lift launch vehicle, or in layman's terms, a reusable space rocket, designed and manufactured by SpaceX, and is now the most powerful rocket in operation. Falcon now provides the United States with a heavy lift space rocket not seen since the 60s. What makes Falcon Heavy so special is the reusable booster rockets that detach in flight, return to Earth and land safely on landing sites nearby so they can be reused again for another rocket. This reusable rocket system will cut the cost of space flight from billions to tens of millions. The Falcon Heavy launch costs $90 million dollars while NASA's planned SLS rocket, a comparable system, is expected to cost about $1 billion per flight. SpaceX conducted Falcon Heavy's maiden launch on February 6, 2018, and the rocket carried a Tesla Roadster car as a dummy payload. The cherry red Tesla convertible's only passenger was the dummy driver, which was named Starman. The dummy was wearing the same white spacesuit NASA astronauts will wear for missions to the International Space Station in the next year or so. Secured by a seatbelt, the Starman's right hand is holding the steering wheel, while its left arm is resting on the door, while the dashboard screen reads, Don't Panic, which is a reference from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Some extra accessories were added to this car for its special journey, including a small Hot Wheels Roadster on the dashboard, a plaque bearing SpaceX employees' names, and a circuit board with the words, Made on Earth by Humans, imprinted on it. So why put a car in space? Well, in the tradition of Richard Branson with his cheesy publicity stunts, it was a clever show of cross-promotional marketing being that both SpaceX and Tesla are owned by Elon Musk. But as this was Falcon Heavy's maiden launch, they did not want to risk an expensive satellite payload. But they needed a payload as a test weight, so Elon decided on using one of his Tesla cars. Once the car was launched into space around Earth, a camera on the car was live streaming orbiting Earth on YouTube until the batteries on the camera ran out. There is now a website called whereisroadster.com tracking its current location and the website shows the car coming very close to Mars in October 2020. The intention of Elon Musk was to send the car on a constant orbit around the Sun and Mars. Scientists ran hundreds of different simulations of orbital possibilities and they calculate there's a 6% chance of the roadster crashing into Earth and a 2.5% chance of it crashing into Venus over the next 3.5 million years. Otherwise, it will just float out there forever, making all aliens who visit Earth scratch their heads and wonder just how powerful was the engine in that car. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.